Uh, lazy people on social services, a spree of using uh, a spree of borrowed money, that how the Greek people are being portrayed as their economy, a little smaller than the size of Dallas, Texas, with more debt than anybody can comprehend. No capital requirements for the banks. They can give as much money as they want. But like Wall Street, the streets of Athens are like a crime scene. The Greek people, victims of a fraud and cover-up. And our next guest argues Goldman Sachs is the one holding the smoking gun. If it sounds familiar, it should. Greg Pallas is a renowned investigative reporter and author of the new book, Vulture's Picnic in Pursuit of Petroleum Pigs, Power Pirates, and High Finance Carnivores. It's been called the sort of pulp non-fiction. And uh, uh, Greg... How is it that a bank could, can lend money to a country that has an economy smaller than Dallas at a level that is so this big? Well, what you're talking about, you're not talking about a loan. You're talking about a crime. Greece is a crime scene, Dylan. See, what happened is that well, the real story is that not you don't have a bunch of ouzo swilling, olive pit spitting Greeks that, you know, retire when they're teenagers and, are, you know, too lazy to show up for more than a half hour a day of work. That's the line that they're selling us. In other words, that the victims, they're trying to punish and blame the victims of the crime. The crime is this. Goldman Sachs, beginning in 2001, 2002, in the last governments, they cut a deal to secretly take euros out of the Greek treasury, convert them to yen, convert them back to euros. This is a, a, through some fancy derivative action. Goldman takes a multi-billion dollar loss. The Greek government gets a gain. There's no deficit in the Greek treasury. It's only 3%. The Greek economy looks good. Goldman doesn't take billions of dollars in losses. It's a scam. It's a fraud. They've cut a secret deal to get that money back and then some. And by the way, fraud ain't cheap these days. Goldman charged, oh, about three, four hundred million dollars to pull off this scam. Uh, what would the, the uh, uh, is, but yeah. again, uh, and Goldman's not here to represent themselves. But did you ad have you addressed these uh, accusations to them directly? Oh, indeed, I have. Remember, I work for BBC Television. We do investigative reporting. I don't think it's uh, legal under Patriot Act Four in the United States. But we have to go to Goldman Sachs. Believe me, they have a right to reply. I've called them. I've actually stood at their, in their front door trying to grab someone. They don't want to answer these charges whatsoever. They put out a baloney statement. They admitted that they did currency exchanges for the Greek government. Currency exchanges. I used to do racketeering investigations for the U.S. government. And you'll read that in Vulture's Picnic. The thing is, is that this is a type of stuff, fraud on the market. They hid these transactions. They made it appear that the Greek economy was not in deep, deep trouble. That's a fraud. We used to, we used to, uh, uh, you know, read guys their rights, tell them to spread them and march them out of those buildings. Today, uh, you know, today these are not uh, uh, vultures anymore. In fact, uh, Rick Perry asked me last night to change my book from Vultures Picnic to Job Creators Picnic. So now, <laughs> Goldman can say it's doing God's work. It's a fraud. It's a crime. And when it got exposed, of course, the Greek economy blew up because no one would loan them money because of the fraud, they now, instead of having to pay, um, you know, 3% to borrow, they have to pay 9, 12, 15% to borrow. It's insane. The average Greek family has $14,000 a year in interest payments to pay now because the fraud was uncovered. But you make it seem, hi, it's yeah. Susan Del Percio here, but you make it seem hey, like Susan. they have no accountability whatsoever. You want to put stuff on Goldman, I'm with you, but you have to admit that Greece is somewhat responsible and they got themselves into this mix already by themselves. And what so you, did actually you, a lot uh, of other countries in Europe. What do you, they? I mean, the people in the streets, the, no, the, the street Greek park government, conductors, the, the teachers? The Greek government, which represents the people of Greece, are responsible as well. Just there was a crime committed. When a crime is committed right, by a government, I understood, Greg. But, but, but was it? By, but on, to Nate. Susan's point, was not complicit in the committing of that crime the Greek government? In other they words, Gold, Goldman Sachs could not go into Greece without the complicit participation of the Greek leadership, who had they, the incentive to retain their jobs in Greece by appearing to be doing their jobs for the Greek people and basically going into collusion with the banks to create it. the illusion of doing something for the people. And is that not really what most of these sovereign nations are doing, where the politicians are complicit with the bankers in order orchestrating financial engineering for sovereign countries such that the banks can make money, the government can retain power, and the people get screwed. Well, in Iceland, what they did was they arrested the prime minister when the flim-flam there was uncovered with the banks. You grab the criminals. You don't charge the victims. 
They're bankrupting the victims and letting the criminals walk. Goldman still has its nearly half billion dollars in fees in its pocket. So the victims are being charged. I'm sorry. It's the criminals, the guys committing the fraud, who should be charged. It's the vultures who should be charged. Yeah. Listen, I, I agree with that. I, 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 it's been an interesting game of ping pong, and we'll wrap this up, between those who blame the banks, Susan, and those who blame the government. Well, you see that in our own country. Mike Bloomberg will say, it was the government that told the banks to do this. And then the Occupy Wall Street will say, no, it was the banks that did this. The interesting thing is they're both doing it, okay? I don't know what to tell you. But it's not blame to go around. Well, but there's not even the the political leadership with the banking system are just they did what they did. I don't know what to tell you. People get what they did. Why are victims being charged? That they're being charged because the banks and the government are in charge. That's right. Yeah. Uh, at least we know why. Uh, Greg, uh, look forward to the book, Vulture's Picnic. Uh, Greg Pallas, uh, uh, the mega panel, a peculiar day today, but if I was a fine day, it was sort of a, it was like one part Jimmy, and then it was one part you guys, and you kind of got the short end of the stick today, Karen, I think. But uh, It's okay. It's okay. I, I don't think so. But you look awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. And it's always a joy to be All here right. with you guys. All right.